Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's new video at visiting the Dutch countryside for the ones who are near you. My name is Manon and I am Dutch, and at visiting the Dutch countryside, you'll be exploring the Netherlands beyond the crowds with your favorite local, which you should know by now and also should say by now. So, anyway, in this week's video, you'll be learning how to actually pronounce some of the painters, some of the most famous painters that we have in the Netherlands, that come from the Netherlands, because it's time. <laughs> No. I know that some things are pronounced different in other languages, obviously, we have the same. But um, you know those jokes about in English uh, that will say something with Van Gogh? Every single time when I see it, it doesn't register in my brain because I obviously pronounce it the way that it's supposed to be pronounced. So the, the joke doesn't make any sense, so people are like, ah, and I'm like, uh, but yeah, now you all know why the joke doesn't make any sense. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe with the little notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my other upcoming videos. You can also join me on my Patreon, links in my bio and let's head into this week's video. Okay, first thing first, because I'm kind and not wasting your time. Vincent van Gogh, van Gogh. So it's not Vincent van Gogh. No, I do not know who he is. He doesn't exist. So it is Vincent. That's obviously generally the easy part of the name. And then you you do not have van. You have van. So you do not stretch your mouth out. It's just van, not van. So yeah. Perhaps that helps, I don't know. Uh, and then you have my favorite part of the name, Goch. So it's not Go, there are not just two letters, there are four letters. I pronounced H. So yeah, yeah, I guess it's technically three letters. So Goch is when you try to spit, like the G, that's the G sound, and then you have it twice, so it's Goch. It's also not the Go, it's the small O. O, Goch. It's not O, it's Goch. Vincent van Goch. Got it? Great. Up next we have Rembrandt van Rijn. So Rembrandt is obviously famous too, so all of these uh, dudes are famous. So Rembrandt van Rijn. Rembrandt van Rijn. Rembrandt van Rijn. So it's again the van, not the van. Then you have a very easy one in my opinion, but hey, I speak the language, so it's all easy. <laughs> Perhaps not the greatest. Uh... <laughs> anyway. Frans Hals. So it's not France, it's Frans. Frans Hals. So not Hells. Hals. You know the painting of the, the girl with the pearl earring? That is made by Johannes Vermeer. Johannes Vermeer. I do not know. Sometimes I, with some words, I roll my R, my R. Uh, and others, it's just a R. No, others is the ver, ver, meer, meer, meer. The others, I don't know, it stretches out somehow. I do not know, but that's maybe it's my dialect creeping. I do not know what it is. But yeah, so people will be able to understand what you're saying if you say Johannes for me. So does everyone pronounce it that way? I don't know. Yeah, we do not have this one standard dialect. Well, it's becoming more the air. It's disgusting. It <laughs> So it's Johannes Vermeer. Johannes Vermeer. Johannes Vermeer. And then you have Jan Steen, not Jan Steen. Steen. How I don't know how you pronounce it uh, in English or in another language, but um, so it's Jan Steen. Pretty easy. Jan Steen. Then we have Karel Appel. So it's K R O K R O K R O. Then we have Jacob van Ruisdal, which is not Jacob, it's Jacob van, not van, uh, not Ruisdal, or how you would pronounce it, um, it's Ruisdal, Jacob van Ruisdal, Jacob van Ruisdal. And then we have Gerard van Rundhorst, it's not 
Gerard. Uh, so it's Gerard van Hond Hoogst. Gerard van. And do you know the most famous market in Amsterdam, which is the Albert Kuip? Um, that's also how you pronounce uh, his name. It's named after the painter Albert Kuip. Albert Kuip. And then we have uh, Piet Mondrian. So it's Piet Mondrian. Uh, Piet Mondrian. So yeah, I hope you learned something from this. And that you know if you go to museums or something that you're coming in and you're like, I got it. So, oh, good fun. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Big thank you to my patrons. You can join them also. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe with the little notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time.